ask how they pull the ripcord, they're skydiving cats. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. A Swedish insurance company asked its customers to suggest web ads. Think about it every night and day. Ava, who insures her cat with the company called Folksome, suggested skydiving cats, spelling out her name. Putting it to R. Kelly's song was the cat's pajamas. I believe I can the high five midair should have been the tip off, but some pet lovers were upset. This is not funny or cute, it is cruel. That's disturbing. Wrong on so many levels. But they're wrong, says the company's marketing director. I can reassure all cat lovers that they, the cats have not been skydiving for real. A total of five cats starred in the commercial. They never left the studio. People were shot skydiving, then replaced with cats through the magic of green screen. Need a little windblown fur on four-year-old Sarah? They used a fan, yes. One person reacted online by posting an aerodynamic cat with the message, this kitty don't need no parachute. Actually, skydiving dogs are a lot more common, like Bugsy the Pug featured on Animal Planet. He even got stroked during free fall. After the chute opened, he licked his chops, touchdown. And this Florida rescue dog skydives strapped to her owner. She has her own oxygen mask, her own goggles. To her, it's the ultimate car window. She loves it. Her tail wasn't wagging, it was flapping. <laughs> These skydivers made the leap clutching an inflatable shark, put some teeth in their jump. We did dig up one snippet of video of a real cat skydiving. Four years ago, a member of a Russian parachute club sewed a jumpsuit for his cat. The cat seemed calm till right before they leaped, but after landing safely, the owner said he, the cat, didn't even pee himself, unlike a lot of people do the first time they jump. It's not exactly raining cats and dogs, just sprinkling. Ginimo, CNN.